It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Thursday, February 13th, 2020. Number one, Senator Amy Klobuchar's past is under a microscope after an Associated Press investigation into the case of Mayan Burel. In 2002, Klobuchar was the lead prosecutor when her office received a case of then 16-year-old Burel sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Taisha Edwards, a 12-year-old who was killed by a stray bullet in her home. Despite the absence of a weapon, DNA, or fingerprints, Burel was convicted. Klobuchar has stated that the case should be reviewed. And we should also remember all of the criticism received by Senator Kamala Harris for her prosecution of cases as we look now into the prosecution cases of Amy Klobuchar. Number two, the arrest of former Jackson State University President Dr. William Bynum Jr. has generated a lot of response, ranging from surprise to disappointment to disbelief. Reports have surfaced about students and families rethinking the decisions to attend Jackson State. However, let the case play out. Dr. Bynum has been arrested, not convicted, and don't let the alleged actions of the former president disrupt the good work of this historic institution. Number three, the most diverse range of Democratic nominee candidates is now much smaller. Former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, the last black candidate, announced the end of his campaign Wednesday. This follows on the heels of the exit of entrepreneur Andrew Yang and Senator Michael Bennett. Number four, since the first case in Wuhan, China this past December, the coronavirus has killed more than 1,100 people and infected over 45,000 people worldwide. It's been officially named COVID-19 by the World Health Organization. The Illinois Department of Public Health announced Tuesday that that state is the first in the U.S. with the capability to test patients for the novel coronavirus. Number five, Snoop Dogg has listened to his mama and apologized to Gail King for real for his postings about her interview about Kobe Bryant. And you're absolutely right, Snoop. Two wrongs don't make a right. We know your heart and felt the depths of your hurt, and it is time to heal. All right, you still have another chance to join me on the 2020 Tom Jordan Foundation Fantastic Voyage. Subscribe to my newsletter and click the link inside for your chance to win. Winner number three, your time is coming up soon. For more information on the cruise, go to blackamericaweb.com. I'm Sybil Wilkes with the top five stories of what you need to know. Be informed, be empowered.